Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today for this flip through. This little journal is a little over four inches deep, four and a quarter wide and seven inches tall and a little over an inch wide or right at about an inch um, spine. There are three signatures in this journal. I left it very rough. All I did, literally all I did was cut the pages out and mount new pages in it. And well, I cleaned it, of course, but you know, as far as like actual crafting goes, I just took out the old pages and put in new. I thought that roughed edge added some character, added some texture. So we're going to just do a quick flip through. This one is not very decorated yet, I'm, but there will be a um, paper pack that comes with it with all kinds of different coordinating papers to add in and um, as well as die cuts and some stickers and things like that for playing in it. And I've mounted this envelope here on this half page. Let's see, scrapbook paper. This is one of my, I have a Mass Make Monday on these. They call them page pockets. Super, super simple. Um, graph paper, coffee stained, sign, um, uh, scrapbook paper, that's the word. More coffee stained scrapbook paper. So I really like the coffee staining, obviously. This is coffee stained binder paper. This is coffee and alcohol inks. And um, this is actually a cardstock page. Here's a page out of a drawing book and notebook paper, coffee stained paper, scrapbook paper, coffee stained, graph paper, coffee stained paper, scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, all coffee stained, as you can see. And this is out of a vintage. Um, state book. It has just different little facts about different states. And there's another piece of cardstock. And more coffee stained scrapbook paper. And this will fold out. I like, I really like this fold. Um, I think I saw it first, um, on Jodi Fye's channel, how she does all kinds of, all kinds of folding. And it just it never occurred to me fold, to fold before I saw her doing it. And now I can't stop. So... <laughs> But here you go. It's, um, this journal is, it is, um, it's on the small side. So it would be great for taking notes in a cramped situation, you know, where you don't need a whole, you know, big notebook out there. You could totally use this as a sketchbook. You could tuck in all kinds of different papers. Um, here's a little piece of tracing paper, an envelope, fold out that page. Binder paper, fold out, another fold out, so it's just a little bit bigger, so it just gives you that little bit more and you could write in it, but you don't want to leave it if you, you know, it'll be hanging out, so fold it up. Coloring book page for doodling. My puppies are causing a ruckus. I'm going to have to go check on that here in just a second, but we'll finish looking through this first. Here's some a book, uh, map book page. This is a little bit of Australia. Another, the other half. <laughs> Another view. An envelope held in by the flap of the other envelope. Tracing paper, binder paper, notebook paper, and another book page tuck. And here in the back we have the actual. This is the library card um, that was mounted in the original book when it was a library book. Um, these were going to be um, burned, actually. <laughs> we live out in the country, and the school was having a big bonfire anyways, and so um, these were all slated to be discarded, and they were just going to be thrown into the burn fire, but um, I salvaged a bunch of them. But as you can see, this is October of 83, October 12th of 1983. So these are not, not new. <laughs> this set of books but there she is um she is or he it is available in my etsy shop thank you so much